For much of the 20th century, most coal in West Virginia was mined by men working deep underground. But by the 1970s, a new kind of mining was starting to transform West Virginia on a scale that can still be hard to comprehend unless you see it from the air. At first, coal-rich Mingo County looks like many other forested areas of the Appalachians. But when the fog clears, you'll soon discover that many of the mountains themselves are gone. This is the land of mountaintop removal, a mining technique so powerful and efficient that companies can simply carve off the tops of entire mountains to get to the coal buried below. This mine is one of the biggest mountaintop mines in the state. It's called Hobet 21. Not long ago, this area was blanketed with trees and hills. Now, it's a 12,000 acre dig site. It can take just a few men and a few monster machines to destroy an entire Appalachian mountain. Once the trees are clear cut, geologists locate the seams of coal below. Then, the company drills holes, stuffs them with powerful explosive, and blows them up to loosen earth and rock. Next, excavators move in to rip the mountain apart, scoop by scoop. For every ton of coal produced in a mine like this one, the company has to remove 16 tons of earth. The best way to grasp the scale of this operation is to watch it from the air. It looks like a giant sandbox with enormous motorized toys. All this activity has one singular purpose, to uncover valuable seams of coal like this one, and then dig it out and ship it to market. Surface mining is much safer for West Virginia's miners since they don't have to work underground in potentially dangerous tunnels. But it comes with a huge environmental cost. 500 mountains have already disappeared, along with the habitats for hundreds of species. And lives are impacted too. When a mining company carves off a mountaintop, it has to put that earth somewhere. And so, it dumps it into nearby valleys. 3,200 local streams have been destroyed, and entire communities have been forced to relocate when the mining companies buy up the land. 